Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly forecast for the month of April for the sign, the sun sign and rising sign of Leo. So the first cards I pulled for you are the Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups, I've been seeing a lot of that lately, and the Magician. And this is from the mini Rider Waite that I like to work with. From Nature Oracle, we see Daffodil, Trust in Your Power, and then also Storm, Resolve Conflict. And then from Goddess Oracle, because I've been working with Goddess Energy a lot lately, we see Undying Love. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the power of your words and the power of your mind. Now, I don't know what's going on with your love life and your love relationships, but it does seem like there's a connection to um, setting intention, relationships of all kinds. So it doesn't have to be romantic exclusively. It could be friendly or platonic or work relationships or romance or whatever. But either way, it's being very mindful of the vibration, the energy of others and what they bring, and then using your words, using your thoughts in order to change the outcome of your relationships or your partnerships with them. And the thing is, is that it's really important, and for those of you guys that are part of the Sacred Circle Tarot School, um, which is, and for those of you guys that don't know, the Sacred Circle Tarot School is a school that I run where we dive into studying the tarot and tarot mentor mentorship that's virtual online with me. And the links for that will be down in the bio, but regardless. For those of you guys that are part of the school, you know when we see the magician, the power of your words. In fact, the magician is ruled by the magician card is ruled by mercury mercury rules words and thought communication and messages now magician is the ultimate creator he can take and make something out of nothing because all of what it is that he needs is at his disposal and at his hands and the magician can create he can change the outcome and then we have the daffodil card which says trust in your power meanwhile it's surrounded by eight of swords and then the storm card resolving conflicts so the thing is is that no matter what someone else's this other person's energy that is bring that is bringing into your life or that has been brought into your life chances are it might be negative or chances are chances are there might be friction in some way it really is important and imperative that you literally call on your own power and focus on your power using your words, using your intention, and make sure that your mind is clear. That way you're not sparking more tension for the month of April. Okay? Your words, watch them. Your mind and your thoughts, watch them. You can control the outcome for what it is that you want. So the outcome of what it is that you, your desired outcome of what it is that you want to see happen by working your intention, by working your magic, and then ultimately releasing because that's, that's you know, one part of your magic is setting the intention and calling it in and um, using masculine energy in order to be assertive with it. The other aspect of that is very much receiving, trusting in what has already happened and trust what is happening now and then releasing your control over it. More than that, you can't control other people. That's this aspect of this storm card. You can't control what others are going to do, but you can control what it is that you do. And then that's another aspect of what it is that I'm seeing with the trusting your power. Not only you know, are you trusting in your power, but trust in the power of the divine, which opens you up for miracles. Let's say, and for some reason, I'm just really seeing this focus on relationships now. Maybe it's not a relationship that you currently have in your life. Maybe it's a relationship that it is that you want. But regardless, it's calling and working with this friction in order to get what it is that you want. And that's why I'm seeing this undying, I think that's why we're seeing this undying love card. Because this love is unconditional, it's eternal, it doesn't burn out just because there was tension or conflict. It doesn't give up just because you guys can't see eye to eye. So if that's truly what is it is, if that's truly what it is that you want for yourself is, is this bond or this lasting connection that can continue to grow, that's what it is that you need to call in. Don't let your fears of what is currently happening or this friction or this instability that's currently happen, happening stop you from manifesting what it is that you want. So if you are 
you know, mentally bound up, if you have mental friction, and maybe that's what this card is suggesting for you because it's different for everyone. Maybe this conflict is not with another person. Maybe this conflict is within yourself. And if that's the case, that mind is everything because the mind can create or it can destroy. So tap in again to that eternal love, each, that, that connection of what it is that you want for yourself. And if, if it is a soulmate, if it is a twin flame, if it is a, you know, a connection to the right person at the right time that's going to help build your business and help build this project or whatever it is that you see for yourself, call it in, trust it in, and then let go, release, and let it flow into your life easy and effortless. Okay, Leo? So I hope that that makes sense, but that's the theme that it is that I'm seeing for the month of April for you. I think that ultimately you know exactly what it is that you want. Um, it's just a matter of calling it in and trusting that it's happening and resolving any type of conflict or tension that's blocking those blessings for you because it's going to happen. You have to trust that it is happening. That's the other thing too with flowers is that they do bloom, but they bloom on they bloom on their own time, and you can't force it. You can't you know push it. All right. So that's what it is that I see. Again, I hope that that make, message makes sense. Give me a thumbs up if you love this video. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so that sh and you have your notifications turned on so that you are notified when all videos are posted. We're not going to spam you or I'm not going to spam you. And then I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.